I'm going to show you the best tight defense in Madden 24, and it's going to come to us out of the 46 defensive playbook. This is really effective for gun tight, gun tight, offset tight end, tight doubles on, any of those type of formations. Even tight slots, halfback weak, this can work pretty well against pretty much any 2x2 two two compression set is what we're going for with this tip. Now, if you struggle defending tight, don't worry, a lot of people do. It's one of the best ways to play offense right now in Madden 24 because it gives you the ability to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So the best way to defend tight, in my opinion, is to not run man coverage. We're going to be trying to uh, basically keep the compression set in the middle of the field and force them uh, to have to attack over the middle of the field to get their routes open. So we're in the 46 defensive playbook. We're going to be in the 3-3 cub formation, but we're going to always come out in the nickel 3-3. This is going to give us the best personnel possible. It's also going to give us a really cool adjustment that I want to talk about, and that is the safety nickelback package. If you don't know what the safety nickelback package is, I'm going to flick my right joystick here to the right a couple times. You see right there, it says safety at nickelback. What that's going to do is it's going to put a safety at the corner position. Now, don't worry, you need to, um, I really recommend subbing out your players and then subbing them back in into the spots that you want them to be in. Um, so don't worry necessarily about the personnel piece of this because you can still control that with your uh, manual substitutions. But the beauty of this uh, safety at nickelback package is that now we're going to be able to create some different adjustments with our safeties. The only other thing that I want you to do in terms of your coaching adjustments before we get on the field is turn your zone coverage to match. And then that's it. And we're going to get on the field. We're going to come out and cover two drop, and we're going to be audibling into the nickel 3-3 cub Tampa 2, which is already going to be there for us. And this coverage has uh, two things that are really, really important to talk about. It has vertical hooks, and it has cloud flat defenders. Those are very, very important if you're trying to play defense in Madden. I think that those two zones, really vert hooks and cloud flats or vert hooks and soft squats or vert, foot, vert hooks and hard flats, to me, those are the best zones in the game for defending any offensive set that you're going to be playing. Okay, curl flats really aren't that good of a zone. Quarter flats are terrible. Um, seam flats are okay in certain situations. Uh, but really, you want to build your defense, in my opinion, around the vertical hook zone. I think the vertical hook zone is the best zone in the game because it has – uh, some pretty cool matching principles, and we're going to show you that right now. So all we're going to do with this is we're just going to blitz our user, and then really that's it uh, for right now. And I want to just show you what happens. So the basic idea here is we should take this mid-read and get him out of the play. We don't want a mid-read on the field because it's, for whatever reason, going to bug out the principles that this defense is. So what you'll see here is if I run a corner route, and let me pick a, let me pick bench so I can run corner routes to both sides. And we're just going to basically call this play, and then we are going to look at the instant replay here. So what you're going to see with these vertical hooks that they do, which is really interesting against compression sets, is that if they run a corner route, um, what you're going to see is they're going to match the corners. As you'll see here on the right, we match, uh, we match the corner. And on the left, even more so uh, accurately, you're going to see a really nice match. Uh, on that right there, which is going to basically take that away. Now, the same thing is going to be true over here on the right. Um, not quite as he actually matches. He just matches kind of the wrong guy, to be honest. Um, but you see, we're still able to play some defense. Now, the really important part of all of this, though, is also understanding that Madden is based off of a grid system in terms of the way that they play their defense, especially the deep blue zones. They are kind of based on a grid system. So what we can do with this is we can build around the fact that this vertical hook will match that uh, corner route from that number two receiver. Now, let's say I run a corner route um, on the outside. I don't know if I have uh, the – I don't think I do have the capability to do that uh, with this specific formation. Uh, but in general, let's say I, I run a play like PA seams. You're going to see this vertical hook will match that corner route to the sideline, and this and Jordan Love's going to throw the ball into outer space because that's how Madden plays, um, especially in practical. So, anyways – but the other thing that I want to talk about is the fact that Madden is based off of a grid system. So, um, for example, if I run a street corner, and we're going to actually shade those vertical hooks down so that they won't match. But if I run a streak in a corner route to the left, what you're going to notice here is that deep half in, is not going to play it. Now, the cloud flat can play it, uh, but the deep half is not going to play it. And especially if I audible into, like, let's say I you know create basically a cover three coverage over here. And um, again, we'll just, you know, hard flat or get this guy out of the play. 
what you'll see is a cover three. You're going to get this action here, and that outside third will never guard this corner route. Outside quarters really don't guard it either, which is what makes tight so hard to defend. However, um, let's say that we try to do that same exact concept, but this time we're going to do it over here to the right side. So the same exact concept. And what you're going to notice is if I go to a corner route to the wide side of the field, um, this outside third defender is going to play it every single time. As you can see right there, he'll play it perfectly. He'll take the route away. They won't be able to throw that. So we can kind of build a defensive system around the reality and the knowledge that they can't run any kind of flood concept to the sideline um, if they stay compressed. The only way they can get this corner route open, which is also a kind of important thing to understand, is if they motion out the pull route. So if I motion this guy out, then you're going to see here that now, um, yes, it will pull that outside third defender and this becomes a little bit easier of a throw to hit against this coverage. Obviously, that's a dead giveaway that they're going to do that. And what I would really recommend doing in that scenario is getting back into a coverage kind of like this. And the reason why is because if they motion out here, then this cloud flat is, is going to defend it. And the vertical hook is going to have a better chance of matching it. And you see here, this window is just not there. You can't throw the ball right there. Okay. Okay. So back to vertical hooks and understanding their use. So what we're going to do with this defense here, and this is, again, a more of a coverage-based defense. And if you want to get the whole ebook on this, join the Patreon. We got a ton of stuff in there for you guys. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to outside third that wide side corner. Then we're going to middle third the wide side safety. And I like to outside third the short side safety. That outside third will just do a little bit better of a job of getting to the sideline if they're running any kind of wheel route to the sideline, if they're trying to flood to the sideline, that will do a little bit better of a job. And then lastly, I like to crash my D-line out, and then I'm going to put both of my linebackers on um, hard flats. Now, uh, the, the linebackers have the most variation in this coverage, however you want to play them. You do want to go ahead and blitz your user. It will improve your sheds, and it will ensure that that vertical hook will match um, any kind of deep corner route to the left side. So in, in a situation where, you know, maybe they run a, a concept like this, then that, that vert hook is going to match that. So what this does from a user perspective is it really simplifies what we have to do defensively. All we have to use are here is this little post right here and everything else is going to be bagged consistently out of compression. So the beauty of this is it really will force them to have to kind of like really work with their route combos uh, to get stuff open against you. And really it's a very simple defense. Now, the other beauty of the 3-3 Cub formation, this is why I think 3-3 Cub is also, it's just such a good defense this year, is when you put deep in zone KO on these safeties, they react so much better in zone. Like they are so much better in zone coverage. Um, and the other cool part about 3-3 Cub is when you press, you see how these safeties come down into the box and then if you want to manually back off these outside corners, you know, you can certainly do that. And now you're still in your really nice coverage concept here where we're going to be able to basically take away corner routes on both sides. If they run a deep skinny post, that deep end zone knockout is going to take that away. Now, the other cool part about that is let's say that they're trying to maybe run um, a little bit of a coverage beater. So a very popular cover three beater would basically just be this right here. What is really cool about this coverage is again understanding the grid system and all of that with some subtle tweaks we can take away a lot of opportunities for cover three bombs so you'll see right here uh, i'm just gonna you know try to throw this cover three bomb right in this little seam and you see right here i can kind of hit it right now the beauty of this and again this is a little bit of an adaptive deal and just depends on how you want to play it but one of the other things you can do against tight that's pretty good in deep halves they just play better this year they're a lot better than they were last year so instead of using those outside thirds, we're going to use those outside third, middle third, but now we're going to leave this deep half. What you'll, what you'll notice when we leave the deep half is if they try to you know go to that cover three bomb, you're going to see right here that we're able to basically take that away. They're not going to be able to throw that, and you're going to be able to play really, really balanced defense. So there's a lot of value in the outside third adjustment, but there's also um, kind of, the, especially this year, I think the deep halves are, are really good. They are really good. Um, and then the last thing that I want to show you is we can always, we can always 
send heavy pressure at our opponent. So we can give the look of – that's what 3-3 Cub is really, I think, makes it such a good defense because you can give the look of coverage. So like this right here, it looks 100% like coverage. But all we're going to do is we're going to blitz our linebackers, and then I'm going to play hard flats on both sides because I know that vert hook on the left is going to match the corner route. And then I just know with my user, I got to be I got to be over here on the right side helping that out. But if they send a bunch of people out on a route, we got a really good chance of getting some pressure. I don't think I sent the running back on a route, so I'll show I'll show you like that. But this this is a really 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 good concept because you're able to you know get a lot accomplished. Again, like let's say I did you know something like this, and then and then we'll send we'll send everybody out because in their mind, right? In their mind. We're not, we're not, uh, we're not sending pressure. We're dropping eight every single time. So now you come down and like this, and, and the beauty of this is, like I said, it doesn't look that scary, right? It doesn't look like a blitz look, but all we're doing is we're just putting those guys on the hard flats, standing here. It looks exactly the same, but now we're going to send everybody, and then you're working back into coverage. And I promise this blitz works a little bit better in game um, because practice mode is a little bit finicky, uh, but this is one of the best blitzes in, in the entire game. It truly is. And oftentimes you'll even get some crazy gap pressures and disengages and stuff like that. If you want to learn more about the 3-3 Cub defense, make sure you join the Patreon. It'll show you how to stop pretty much everything that you're seeing. And it's, I believe, 3-3 Cubs' most versatile defense in the game. There's so much that you can do with it this year. And um, yeah, if you want to get my full ebook on that. Well, the cool part about being the Patreon is you'll get access to that ebook. You also get access to all of our ebooks offensively and defensively. It gives you a whole system that you can do, use to take your Madden game to the next level. So sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the Patreon link down below.